everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eliza. Hi if you're new. And today I'm going to show you my summer essentials. So I'm going to start off with clothing like your essential outfits. So I'm going to go from casual to kind of dressy. So first things first is a preppy t-shirt. You can get these by Lauren James, uh, Southern Shirt Company, Vineyard Vines has them. Just a lot of preppy t-shirts, Simply Southern. So this one is from Etsy and it's just a Cinderella carriage monogram shirt. And this is just a comfort colors one. So this is one that I absolutely get a ton of wear out of and it's super easy and goes with everything. And what I love wearing with big preppy t-shirts is like running shorts these are from walmart and i think they were like seven dollars so if you don't want to get like a pair of nike these are amazing they look absolutely great with these preppy t-shirts just a super comfy casual outfit next is oh i this is another comfort colors one this is a tank top and it's from southern fried cotton um, it's one that I picked up in Mississippi uh, three, four years ago. I absolutely love this. This goes great. I would like your swimsuit or, uh, while you're at the beach or at the pool. So I absolutely love that. Um, and then I guess we'll go into more like dressy outfits. Um, I'm going to start off with shirts. This is a linen button down. This is from Target. And it's just one of the universal thread ones. And I got it in blue and white. So this goes with anything and everything. You can usually dress it down, dress it up. All depends on you. Another thing that I have is this Lauren James t-shirt dress. So it has scalloping at the bottom, which is really, really cute. But this is just something you can just throw on and just go with a cute pair of sandals. You don't really have to think about it. Also, a good essential to have is basic t-shirts. Now, these are super lightweight, um, especially for down here in Louisiana. It does get really hot and humid, so you feel, like, nasty sometimes. But this goes great with, like, just a pair of shorts. Like, so, these are so cute. These are from Old Navy. So I could easily just wear these and this shirt together and call it a day or like a printed pair of shorts. Just something simple and easy throughout the day. But yeah, these are another essential. These are from Old Navy and they're just striped ones and they go with absolutely everything. It's good to have basics that can go year round. Another good basic is pair of denim shorts. These are just light wash ones that I got from The Gap, I think two, three years ago. They're a girl punch style, so they're not like super tight. They're kind of laced and um, just a good pair of denim is good. Next I have is a off the shoulder t-shirt or shirt. This is one that I just recently picked up and absolutely love the design on it. I love the trim at the bottom. It has a semi bell sleeve. So this is absolutely cute. It's super lightweight and just perfect for the summer. Just the colors of it. And just the detail of the top. Another good type of shirt to have is a boat neck shirt. This one is from Old Navy and it's navy and white and it has three quarter length sleeves, which is awesome. Even though I do have sore arms, so it kind of comes like right here on me. So it's not a three quarter length on me personally. And then a good pair of light wash denim. These are a pair of Levi's that I think you can get at Target. And they're a mono skinny, so they hit right above my ankle. So this is an absolute must for me. It goes with any of the shirts that I just showed you. Just a good pair of denim is always great to have. 
or any outfit. Um, and then I guess a bikini or a swimsuit. This is the one that I have to show you. I have a whole bunch of bikinis. Um, I recently had to get a whole bunch of new bikinis because I had my second breast reduction surgery. And if you would like a story about like my surgery experience, I'd be happy to do that. But I had to go and find some new bikinis that actually fit me. Before I didn't really have any that fit me because of my chest size. So finally have some. Next is a cardigan. And this is a lightweight. Um, I want to say it's a little bit, it's maybe not. But it's um, just a gray cardigan, super lightweight, super long. I could throw it over like the dress or over that um, blue button down, that linen button down. And it looks super, super cute. So this is just definitely, a, I think it's kind of chilly or towards the end of the night. It's definitely a good piece to have. Also, another piece that I love is the Vineyard Vine Chef shirt. And then this is the one I have. It is 4th of July themed. So, I don't get much wear out of this one particularly. But I absolutely love it. Um, I do wear it all the time once it hits July. But it's also a good piece to have. And it goes with pretty much everything in my closet. And then here in Louisiana, you definitely need a raincoat. So the weather is very, very crazy here. So this is definitely something that I wanted to get. And this is from Marley Lily. They always have sales, so you can always get it at discount. And then mine is monogrammed with silver on the chest and on the hood of it. So this is something that I get a ton of use out of here. And I also have like another pullover type um, raincoat that I keep in my husband's vehicle. Um, oh, and then uh, you might have seen this in my last video or something similar to this. This is a fishing shirt and it's by McGalligan. So it's a very cheap one. Um, I think I got it for around $10 and this is in from the men's section. Um, so I love this as a swimsuit cover up if I don't want to bring like a tank top or anything like that. So this is definitely something really good to have and you can find them as the PFG or that brand, which is really cute. Um, and I got that one from Academy, I want to say last year. Going on to accessories, I absolutely love a clutch or a crossbody bag. This one can be a clutch or a wristlet. Um, but I have the strap right here. So I'm just gonna, this one has like a little spot to put your cell phone on the front. And then you have a pocket for your cards and cash. And then you have extra space back here for change and or other necessities that you keep in your purse. Then I have this one. This is from Spartina 446, 449. And this is the Hawaiian Islands um, bracelet. Um, the reason why I have this is me and my husband met and got married and all that stuff in Hawaii. Um, so this is very sentimental. I was also born in Hawaii, so it's nice to have something that reminds me of my birthplace, but this definitely does have a lot of meaning behind it, so it's definitely a piece that I'm going to be keeping forever. So I absolutely love this, and it has Oahu right there. So definitely love this. It's just very sentimental and it's very perfect. I love how sturdy it is. It has a pocket back here. And then it also has a ton of space for like cards and then it has a pouch over here and it just has the main area. So this is definitely a new thing to have. Another bag that I love to have is a coat. This is good for traveling or just like 
for you if you're on vacation or going to the beach. This is another Spartina one that I have, and this is the New Orleans tote bag. Um, definitely very colorful, so you can wear whatever outfit with this because you have almost all the colors in it that would look good. Um, so this is just a new bag to remind me of home um, because now I do live in Louisiana. So this is really cool to have. And then it just has a ton of space on the inside. And then I also love that it has these little pegs at the bottom. So when you do set it down, it's not the bottom of the purse isn't going to get scratched up or anything like that. So, and then it also has a little hook right here so you can keep it closed this way. So this is definitely a good tote bag to have or if you want to go for a tote but kind of have a little bit more summery this is a Lauren James beach bag I do love the handles on this they're amazing and then it's sears stuff around the inside and then it does have a little pouch right here so you can put like your koozie accessories in there so this is definitely something that I love to have when we do go to the pool or the beach. Something that I don't really have to care about. Another good thing to have on you at all, all times is a cup. I recently got this one. This is part of the Vineyard Vines collection. Target. Um, I have a whole bunch of these stainless steel cups with my monogram on it. So, because a lot of my um, husband's family does have those cups, so just make sure it's mine. I have my monogram. Um, another good thing to have is a koozie or a drink holder. This one's a Louisiana one from Lauren Gaines. Um, I mean, a whole bunch of companies have these, and they're relatively cheap. I think they're like $5 at the most. So, or you can find them at like, uh, while you're traveling at gas stations and stuff like that. Another good accessory to have is a pair of sunglasses. Now I have two here. It all depends on if I'm wearing contacts or not. So these are my non-prescription sunglasses and I love these. They're great. And then I also keep like a little sunglasses strap just in case I do go to the pool. So these are my gold ones. My sunglasses strap is from Etsy and it's just monogrammed and it's a Lilith Glitzer inspired sunglasses strap and then in this one I have my gunmetal um, Ray-Bans and then my Vineyard Vines and Target Collaboration sunglasses strap. And then I always keep a pair of like other of glasses can cloth in with them. It's nice to have. Sometimes I forget to put mine in my purse. Also, another good accessory to have is a baseball cap. Now, this is from Marley Lily. It's one of the first baseball caps that I got. Um, I mean, I get a ton of use out of this one. This is one I normally keep in my beach bag, but I recently just switched it to a um, Ruby Blue Vineyard Vines one. It just has my monogram on it in navy. Absolutely love this. Something that I use year after year. Now going into shoes. Shoes are an amazing thing to have. I absolutely love. Um, simple pair of sneakers or like a pair of boat shoes. So here are my boat shoes that I have for you. These were relatively cheap. I do have a, two pairs of Sperry's. And a, I have one in white and one in gray. But these are a unique kind of pair. They kind of crocheted throughout the shoe. And I absolutely love these. Um, these were really cheap. I got them on sale for like I think $5 at shoe carnival so if you have a shoe carnival near you i definitely check them out these are super comfortable super easy to wear they go with absolutely everything i 
I think I have those. I have those in white and black. And then a pair of sneakers. That's my sock. Sorry about that. Um, I absolutely love these. These are the Sperry slip-on sneakers, I believe that's what they're called. I don't know the exact name for them, but I do have these in gray, and I love the pink. And they also have them in um, a dark or like a navy color or a denim. So those are really cute. Um, these are super comfortable. They're memory foam on the inside, so they don't hurt your feet. You can wear them all day and still be comfortable with them. And the type of socks that I wear with them are these kind of like flats. They don't have, it's not like a full sock, so they're kind of high, but it's just like you're not wearing socks. So these are an absolute mess for me. Another pair of shoes that I like to keep, as you can see in the background, are my Hunter Rain boots. Now here it rains heavily. Like, sometimes the roads will be semi-flooded or um, side of our house or walking out to get our vehicle. So these are an absolute mess. I love these. They're the matte navy ones. They almost look black right now, but they're navy. I absolutely love these. They match my jean jackets. So I have two. Um, they're both navy. As you can see, the one right here. So these go with absolutely everything. I can even... I just wanted something different besides black because I feel like I have a lot of black shoes with maybe it's a good staple to have. It's a nice color. Next are a pair of cute sandals. These are from Cracker Barrel. They have little tassels on them. These were I think like $20. Um, I don't know if they still have them. It's been a while since I've gone to Cracker Barrel. It's not near me, but I absolutely love these. They dress up any outfit. They look super cute. They're super comfortable. So these are a good one to have along with a pair of Jack Rogers, if that's your style. I have these in navy, and then I have a pair of lace ones. So these are my first pair of Jack Rogers. I don't know the exact style of these. I don't know if they make them anymore. But I got these while I was living in Hawaii and absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. Um, I didn't have a hard time breaking these in, but I did get these at like I think Ross. So it's kind of like a second hand store. So that may be why. And then if you're at the beach, you don't want to bring a pair of cute sandals. So I would say get a pair of cheap flip flops. I got these at TJ Maxx, I believe last year or the year before that and they were relatively i think they were like ten dollars so that's still kind of expensive expensive for a flip-flop but they're so cute they match my um chef shirt so that's why i kind of wanted to get them but it's still nice to have i can wear these with just that and a pair of like this sweater a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts and then these and it'll still look really cute especially for the fourth of july so this is definitely something that i absolutely love now as far as jewelry goes i love um kendra scott elise necklaces i have a few of these and then i have uh, some of the elise luxe necklaces so they're a little bit smaller than this but i absolutely love this one this is a rose gold and iridescent one, so it kind of looks like this. And then my cuff bracelet, uh, my, my Kate Spade, um, what is this? It's like a bar bracelet. And then a pearl bracelet. It's from my great grandmother. And then I also love these Spartina studs. They're a little big, but I think they're really, really cute and they dress up any outfit. Also, a good thing to have, which you can find high end or low end, is a watch. My high end one is a Kate Spade. I also have one by Fossil and then Karen Scott, I think it is, which is another go to. But this one, I believe, is from either Target or Icing, 
this is a, if you go to like, I mean, this one's a relatively cheap one. I think they got this one at icing. Let's see. Does it say on the back? Nope. But just a good classic wad. You don't need to spend a lot of money on it. Um, also, another good thing to have is a pair of steam earrings. These are the Kendra Scott Danielle earrings. And they are the gold with the mother of pearl. These are amazing. And then I have them in pink and Ella earrings. So they're a tiny bit smaller than this. And then, I don't know the name of these ones, but this is like kind of like the Elise Lux necklace. Um, I have a necklace that matches these ones. Absolutely love these. They go with absolutely everything. They're simple, they're, but still very cute and timeless. I also love these Tessa ones. I get a ton of use out of these. I get a lot of compliments on those as well. And then I love my monogram earrings. These are from Etsy. They're rose gold. Let me polish them. And another good staple to have is pearl earrings. I have these ones that I think are from icing. They kind of have like a rose gold flower on the back or just plain pearl earrings. And then another go-to is a monogram necklace. This is again from Etsy. I absolutely love this. Um, I wear it almost all the time. It's good for layering. So this I think is a 18 inch length chain. I don't know what shop I got this from a while back. But it's one of my, I think it's my second monogram necklace I ever got. But I'm pretty sure if you search like monogram necklace on Etsy and you put your price range in, you can find something similar to that. And I believe that is a two inch, like in diameter monogram. So this is two inches, maybe not one and a half, maybe. So I think that's everything. That's all my essentials for the summer. Um, if you have any essentials that you think I need to pick up, comment them down below. I would be happy to know. Talk to you later. Bye.